Hello and welcome back to Anime Summit Plays. We're going to be playing a different game this week, so if you don't like it and prefer blah, blah blah blah, if you don't like it and would prefer some clanid, then say something in the comments. Or if you like this one, say that in the comments. Or if you think we're stupid, say that in the comments. <laughs> Any comment here we got works. Max favorite visual novel of all time. It's the only visual novel I've actually played all the way through. Favorite visual novel of all time. Of all time. Just like I said. <laughs> I guess that works. Tell us, a, tell us a bit about about this this thing. Well, that we before us. it shouldn't come as a surprise to you. It's romance. Because I like romance. And it's got some aspects about flying and all that stuff in it. And I love flying. And yeah, it's just, it's really pretty. The voice acting's good. And there's romance and there's flying. And that's all I need to be happy. That's all I need. All I, Well, I would love for it to have some Kumiko in it. Kumiko would be nice. But, you know, sometimes you just got to settle. Isn't that right, Quoka? Sometimes you just have to settle. Sometimes you just have to settle. But anyways, uh, let's just go ahead and start this. Okay. Oh, that's pretty gray. Pretty gray. All right. Pretty gray. Talking about the hill so, climb. What made you pick up this game? You can kind of just go through this exposition um, while we uh. What made me talk about the game a little bit? What What actually made me pick it up is because I was curious what kind of VNs they had on Steam, and at the time I was looking, this one was. Well, to begin with, it was really cheap, and then it was 50% off. I think I paid like three bucks for this. And Nice. And I love, um, I love cheap things. So, yeah, I was like, this is awesome. And then Cheap things are good things. Yes, as long as they don't break or suck, which most of the time they do. But this is, this is a shining example of one that doesn't suck, in my opinion, anyways. <laughs> And this isn't nearly as depressing as uh, as the beginning of Clanod. I can say that very easily. Clanid, Clanod, Nagisa. So I imagine we're in protagonist Kuhn's head Correct. right now. And he's just... He's doing a hill climb, like in a car? Nope. But that's a road. Mm-hmm. He's on a bike? He's on a bike. Okay. He's on a bike. So when do the wings come in? It'd be a while. Is this about angels? Um, no. It's also not about angels' eggs. Please don't ask me about that. Uh, and Strain on every muscle of my body. Just, just to say that, too. It... it this VN most of the time does a really good job with the text and everything, but there are some not so pretty parts in some of the translations. Um, <laughs> it tends to uh, accidentally mix up the uh, the genders of uh, who they're who it's talking about. So when it should say he, it says she sometimes, which can get comically hysterical at times. So yeah, because in Japanese you don't have gender specific pronouns like that exactly that's how it should have been <laughs> which does make situations like I know in gate when Rory's talking about the one god that she's supposed to be married to yeah I think in the English translation they put he even though it's really a she because in the Japanese it was just like a they hmm gate Rory Rory Mercury yeah. I don't know if it's the translators knew that it was, or they kind of went with the, oh, marriage must be not Yuri relationship. Surely that would be crazy. Surely not. Life isn't all about having fun. Aww. 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 Okay. I don't know, like, I've started a lot of visual novels, haven't finished any yet, and it feels like the start of most of them is pretty weak. Yeah. Even like ones where they're like, that one starts off real good. And it's like, I don't, how? I don't. 
Well, just by nature, it's going to be wordy, of course, at the beginning, yeah, trying to set like the uh, set the. Uh, they almost try and do the show don't tell to the point where they're just telling more. Yeah. Where it's like, hey, just give me the quick info dump that tells me everything I need to know about the setting and let's get into it. Not try and weave the setting into a terrible 20 minute conversation with somebody <laughs> that doesn't matter. Like, oh. We haven't even got to any other characters yet. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's, you know, it's Oh, a thing. there's colors. Oh, the world's becoming colorful. He found love. <laughs> yeah, about that. The world used to be monotone, and now it's... And now people now are colorful. overwhelmed just because of the size of such enormous things. So this the visual novel is all about Japan's green energy movement. <laughs> it may or may not be. I mean, that might have been one of the underlying things that they were trying to bring out was green energy. I don't know. And then everybody realized that meant dotting their coastline with ugly abominations that barely work. Exactly. Ugly abominations. If you called ever windmills. drive through a wind farm, like not even half of the things are spinning. Wait, no, no. Because then, they're down. See, you can't call all wind farms ugly. If you've ever had the displeasure of driving through Kansas, you'll understand that when you see a wind farm, it's a refreshing sight because you actually have something to look at. because everything else is ugly. Yes, everything else is flat, ugly, barren. And then you, you get to the wind farm and you're like, I'm going to count these windmills. And then you count like a hundred. And then you're like, well, there, that's like two minutes of my life. I can never get back. But then again, you are but driving you through Kansas. You weren't doing anything with it anyway. <laughs> you are driving through Kansas. It's not like you're... So five years ago, there was nothing here. And then they've already built some 100... 150. Those, how big are those? I can't... I have no... Where's the banana for scale? Man, I wish this thing gave me a banana for scale. Okay, this this is somewhat scale. Somewhat. Because you can imagine this is like at eye level. So you can kind of get a scale here. Yeah, General. Those look way smaller than real ones, but... Uh, Oh, Anchan. Anchan. Oh. Oh. Is somebody. Okay, I don't. <laughs> that. Why do we. I mean, I guess that's the Japanese thing. It's like how you write your name is like super important. But here in Merca, we're like, what? What? Like the way kanji work, it's so like stupid. So like kanji will have multiple pronunciations, some of them, because they'll have the original Chinese pronunciation because all kanji came from China. And then they'll also have the Japanese pronunciation for the idea that that kanji works for. Yeah. But then when you start using things like names, the kanji just have the sound. They don't have the meaning. But you can still, like, put kanji together and read it multiple ways because you could read it the original Chinese reading or the traditional Japanese reading. That's oh, such a terrible language system. Like, but, hiragana but, and katakana work. Why do they need the kanji at all? It's Japan, though. I mean, everything about Japan is great. I've seen some things where the kanji don't save you any symbols. They just make it more complicated. <laughs> Well, the English language also has its nuances that get really annoying. But if you don't know the word, you can at least sound it out. <laughs> and you might be wrong, but you'll still be like close enough to ask somebody about it. Yeah. If you don't know a kanji, you can't even like make noises. It's just a blank. That's it. Yeah, it's like it's like whenever you're reading the title of an anime and you're like, oh, what's this anime? It's called High Bike Euphotable. And then though, somebody's like, no, that's actually Hibike Euphonium. Kind of like yeah, that. If it was in kanji and you don't know those kanji, you'd just be like, what is <laughs> this? Exactly. Kore wa nan desu ka? <laughs> oh, now it's going into the redevelopment talk of the town. See, he, he, Redevelopment. he left this town for a while, and now he's come back, and it's different. So that's what this is talking about. The UFOs came. Yep. 
anal probes happened. Question mark. The, oh, there's a paper plane. There's there's the, oh, there's a wow. pop culture reference in there somewhere. A paper plane. Wow. Wow. Such animation. For a moment, it looked like one of the windmill blades had come flying off. What? What? That is that is tiny. Oh, we acquired an item. <laughs> so, when do we when do we get to, uh, you know, schmooze with the lady folk? It takes a long time. He oh damn he jumped into the air. So he's just talking to himself a bunch. Yeah, pretty much. Should we give him a voice yet? Uh, I don't know if he's really talking out loud or if he's just talking in his own head. So I don't know if it'd really be important. Interesting. He's climbing the slope. See, I don't like... Like, they just did a fade... Well, they did a cross wipe. But they didn't change the scene, really. Like, they changed it to a different picture... Well, actually, they did a cross wipe to black, which is even weirder because they didn't—they didn't go anywhere. You don't do to black unless you're changing. You're going somewhere else. I don't know. I've been watching a lot of videos on cinematography, and now it's like every time I see stuff, it's just like they could have done this better. He, he, you're like that anime snob, but for cinematography. I'm, I'm starting to get that point where it's like, <laughs> like I was watching the Love Live movie, and I was like, "Ooh, that was a matching cut." Oh, and oh. then they did not. They did one matching cut, and then nothing else is any good. Not, I mean, not that the movie's bad, but I mean, as far as cinematography or composition, whatever you want to call it for anime, it's. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. The composition for anime needs some work across the whole industry. You, you tell them, Quoka. I mean, you tell them. Many directors are not really taking advantage of that. The most you could probably say is. Akiyuki Shinbo would be about the only one of the few that's still working because Satoshi Kon died. Yeah, yeah, I got so, you. So there's not much left that really uh, takes full advantage. But in time, we'll see some. I'd have I might have to go read back and watch the uh, who makes like Garden of Words and stuff. That guy. That guy. Yeah, might have to go back and rewatch some of those to see, because I know those are beautiful, but I'm not sure how much how good the editing is versus just the artwork. Speaking of you talking about art, look at that line; it's perfect. It was as if I was looking at a completed work of art. The mix of biology and technology. Dot 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 dot. Question mark. <laughs> she had become one with her wheels. We can rebuild her. Hmm. This is the of first course. piece of spoken dialogue. Is this the guy, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, um. Um, 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 um. Okay. Why would you need to make an excuse? That doesn't. Hmm. Does she own the wind farm? Oh, the wind farm's powering her wheelchair. <laughs> Because why, why would it be her world? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I missed <laughs> Got an some dialogue extra long earlier. extension cord plugged up to the yeah, wheelchair. Like, <laughs> Whenever she... No, they just have extension cords coming out of the windmills, and as she gets close to one, she just pulls it off the windmill and plugs it into the wheelchair. <laughs> yeah. like Well, she has a little bit of a battery. She just wheels around from one windmill to the next. She's not saying anything. Damn. Is she not interested in us? Apparently not. I feel hurt. Pulled out that paper airplane. Did you throw this? <laughs> <laughs> that was the only thing I could think of on She's that like, one. She's like, what are you, a child? <laughs> oh, oh, don't. Oh. Oh, 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 we got closer. We're making her cry. She's... 
I don't... I'm not exactly sure of the cause and effect here. But w what? We, we appear to have done I... something wrong here, folks. There, there, there was a slight, slight uh, miscalculation. So, it got to you. I don't... Uh, uh, hey, what are you talking about? <laughs> What's wrong? Did you hurt somewhere? That, okay. Well, obviously she hurt somewhere. I mean, she's in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> Can you move your legs? <laughs> oh, God, that's so bad. Did your amorphous wheelchair hurt you? Oh. I was scared. Squeeze. Can we go back and inspect the paper airplane in our inventory? Did it have a message inside it? Mm, I don't remember if it did or not. Can honestly. we tie it to some blades of grass and make it into a spear? Oh, she's gently squeezing a hand. My hand. It's okay now. I am here to rescue you. And then he just smacks her with a Bible and is like, Walk! <laughs> Walk! <laughs> Chicken question mark. Quack, quack. <laughs> I mean, I can understand where that translation's a little weird because they use completely different onomatopoeias than we do. Chicken question for mark? a lot of things, quack, like quack. how they use "nya" and how we use "meow." So they they may use a very different thing for "cluck," that it seems more like a quack. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're Ow, saying. Ouch! Ouch! This demon bird. The demon bird. Something like a chicken. Something like a chicken. Hmm. That is definitely not a chicken. That is. Chicken question mark. It is a... <laughs> that is clearly duck a duck. With a hat. With a hat. Is this a new... Is this our party member? Yes, we just gained is plus one. Is this where one. this becomes Hato Full Boyfriend? Plus one party member. All the characters are birds? Ow, it hurts. What is this thing? Stop. Stop that hat. Oh, he's called hat because he wears a hat. Oh, oh God. He turned into a marshmallow. <laughs> Don't tell that certain OG-san about it. Quack. 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 Um, is it a duck? What are you, stupid? <laughs> it was a well, duck that I, looked uh, like a chicken. I only dropped out of high school, okay? <laughs> the cow goes moo. Bird goes tweet. And the mouse goes squeak. Let's not, let's not go there. And the elephant goes toot. Okay, we get it. He's wearing a hat. I, I'm sorry. It's because I was crying. Her tears manifested into a duck? It seems so. It seems like he mistakenly thought that you made me cry. Oh, that explains everything. <laughs> it was me. I'll just be on Dio. my way. Good day, <laughs> madame. It was me, Dio. Uh, they really do kind of like... Is a towel okay? Huh? They really do just kind of say a lot more in their attempt to show. I don't carry a handkerchief with me. <laughs> I'll get my butler. <laughs> I'll go get my butler. <laughs> You'll have just the thing. 
So take the towel out. Thank you. Why were you crying? If it hurts somewhere, like your legs. That's not it. <laughs> Are you sure it's not your legs? Here, stand up. Stand up. Where does it hurt? <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. Inspecting the wheel. That, that doesn't look like the wheel of a wheelchair, really. It, it appears to have lost its air. She's got a she flat tire. She had tires on her wheelchair? It appears to have a flat tire. You got a flat tire? Why, yes, I just finished my third one. <laughs> because of that, I've been stuck here. I've been here for an hour already. Oh, okay. That's interesting. You couldn't have called somebody? <laughs> Boom. Don't you? Oh yeah! <laughs> don't you have a cell phone? I left it in my room. Idiot! Wow! You just think that you can go wheel in wherever you want and not bring <laughs> your cell phone with you? Cause that's a Kids good idea. Kids these days. Kids these days. That, that's why I thought of another way to call for help. That way, if there's someone who can get my SOS and come here for me. Okay. SOS? Oh, this? This piece of paper with wings on it. Oh. So there's a message there. I think I see Des. I can read that. Des. <laughs> Who are you, uh, Deca Mori? Is, did, did she always say Des in Chunabu? I'm in trouble. Someone help me. I'm on Windmill Hill. She didn't just say death, she said des. 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 <laughs> like she would exemplify it. It's kind of like a, the, what is it? That, that Squid like Girl one, like where she says digeso. Yeah. Digeso. Digeso. And then there's always, there's always weird things in speech patterns in Japanese that it's interesting when they get put into the uh, subtitles. Like, a lot of people refer to themselves by their name. And you'll see that in anime a lot. Yeah. But some characters specifically get their translation to also use their name instead of I. Mm. While some, when they use their own name, in the same show even. Like, you'll have one character that when they refer to themselves by their name, it puts that in the subtitle. And then other characters, when they do that, it just says I. It's always, it's always weird. You just never know. Hold on a moment. Oh, oh. Is he getting the chloroform out? He's getting the chloroform out. Mm -hmm. In the camera. I smell chloroform. <laughs> the tools. The better question is, how does she know the smell of chloroform? Oh, we need to wrap this first episode up, guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you like this series... Tell us in the comments. If you want us to go back to Clanid, tell us in the comments. You're still going to be stuck with a few weeks of this game because we're going to record a bunch today. Shh. But then we'll don't tell do, them. We'll don't do... tell them how we do this. <laughs> oh, behind the scenes. <laughs> we totally don't do all these in one day. <laughs> totally not. Definitely not. Definitely not. So, we'll see you again next week. So, next time we will drug this girl and see, see what's up with her legs. Yeah, we're going to... We're going to test gonna the functionality. We're going to give it a functionality test. Oh, God, that See sounds terrible. See you next terrible. time. See ya.